The music that I listen to in the studio is mainly uh, classical music. L much like classical music, I think of my paintings. The word for it can't be expressed. You know, you can't say, okay, that classical piece of music was. It's very difficult to do. Looking at abstract paintings, it's very difficult to say, that painting is something that means this. All righty then. Well, the easiest description that I can give to them is that I'm an abstract expressionist. I'm not that far away from techniques that I used in the 60s where I was extremely adventuresome. I tried anything I could find. I suffered with depression as a young man. Medications and painting uh, probably saved my life. My father was a sign painter who owned his own company, but he was an artist too. My father decided to retire. I took over the, the sign shop, and so I would use the sign shop as my studio, as well as a, a place to work and earn a living for my family, which as an artist back in the late 50s, early 60s was almost impossible to do. And I couldn't do it. And I didn't know any other artists in Little Rock that could do it either. I consider the whole room my palette because I've got pieces, pieces all over the place that have been on other paintings and are free for me to use it at, at, at any moment. And if I look at a spot and say, well, where might you fit? I might say right about there. I can always find some more. So the floor, floor I love. And sometimes the music, uh, it's like I feel a color uh, from the music say movie soundtracks for example because of it, it's related to a movie they might be seeing a, a ship out on the ocean going full blast with the wind blowing in the sails and they have just the right instruments just like I might have the right colors uh, and it's it's like feeling that I can almost feel the breeze in my face as I'm putting on a particular color you know, like when someone looks at my painting and says, well, what is it? You know, you say the same thing about the, the work of instrumental music. What is it? Well, it's music. Well, it's a painting. You know, it's like they're, they can be intertwined. My grandkids tell me what's in the painting. Uh, I've got one, the first people were my grandkids that said, that's a cow. You know, and I didn't see the cow. I didn't, I, I had never seen the cow until that grandchild told me it was a cow. And, I, and that's all I can see when I look at it now. The green quality of Arkansas, the, the atmosphere here in Little Rock, the humidity we have here in Little Rock, I actually believe the humidity has a color to it. When I go to Santa Fe to show my work, it has, it, it is so clear where I think Arkansas has a slight, very slight rose tint to it. And there's something about that that I really like. I started painting in my 20s and I'm 82 now, soon to be 83. Or my wife might say, no, Sammy, you're 83, soon to be 84. I don't really know. That's what happens when you get my age. But yeah, I, I plan on painting as long as I can get in the studio and pick up the brushes, I'll, I'll be painting. My footing in life is better if I'm painting. 